This is a quick update to my video on how to fix the left channel recording only issue with the Focusrite Scarlett Solo. Hi, my name is David and if you get any value from this video, kindly consider subscribing to support my channel. Now I'm doing this video because uh, for this particular tutorial that has been well received, I did this particular recording in Windows 7. I've upgraded to Windows 10 and I feel that it is essential for me to do a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how you've actually fixed this particular problem. So let us begin by first of all checking it out. Uh, we can see we have the, the Scarlett Solo USB. So you can just right click, open sound settings, and then we navigate to the microphone, device properties, additional device properties. And when you go to advanced, you'll notice that only two channel uh, is available. Everything else is grayed out. Now, this is grayed out because we have not yet installed the Focusrite drivers for our unit. So I'm using uh, the Focusrite Scarlett Solo 2nd gen. So what I need to do is I need to navigate to uh, the customer's portal. And I have this website linked below in the description for you to follow. So we'll need to come to this particular uh, website. Let's say we need to choose the product type. I just navigate down here. Let's say Scarlett uh, Solo second gen. Let's click on that. And once you click on that, you're going to see the different uh, options available. So we've got the Windows USB driver and that's what uh, we need. So you can just click on that. And once we click on that, it's actually going to start downloading. And once it's done, what we need to do is install. It's just a small file, about 9 MB. So uh, let's uh, just install it. So it's, uh, it's, it's already done. Let's just give it a, a couple of seconds. And there we have it. So we can just click on open file. Uh, do you want to allow this app? Yes. And I can just minimize this page now. Just click on next. I accept. Next. Next. Uh, I don't want any uh, start menu. Just click on next. Install. So once that, that is done, it's out of the way. Now, you may need to restart your computer for this to be done. So let's see. Now we'll start the uh, we restart the computer later. Let's click on finish. Now, chances are it may or may not work. But let's see before we uh, restart. Let's see if it's going to work. So you can just right click, open sound settings, device properties, additional device properties, advanced. We still have this. So let's restart, and then when we come back, we'll see if we still have. Uh, the grayed out two channel uh, available. So uh, in, a sh in a short while, I'll be back with you. Now, since I've already restarted my uh, laptop, let's uh, check out uh, the settings again, open sound settings. And then we go, you now see that it's already changed to analog one plus one uh, focus right USB audio. Uh, just click on device properties, go to additional properties, and then once we check the advanced option, now you can change the channel to whatever uh, you want to use. Let's say one channel, 24 bit, apply. If you continue, the device may stop working. Do you want to continue? Now, since I'm recording this inside Camtasia, it may stop recording. So let's just do it and then I'll come back so that we can listen whether we are getting both channels available. Now that we've already updated the settings uh, for a sound device, that is a Focusrite uh, Scarlett Solo, I believe that the audio is coming out from the left and the right channels of this recording, uh, unlike uh, what we've seen in the past. So I've, I've, I've walked you from the point where you download the drivers, you install the drivers, restart your machine, and then change the sound settings to, to the one channel 24-bit. Uh, and this will help you once you do your voiceovers, podcast, or whatever you're doing to have audio coming out from both the left and the right channels. So I hope this is a good step-by-step -step updated video on how you can fix your Focusrite, Scarlett Solo, or even any other interface that you're using. So uh, I think uh, that's it for this video. 
I hope that you enjoyed the video and that you've learned something. Kindly subscribe to the channel and until next time, never stop learning and stay safe. Thank you for watching.